Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys, hope you're all well and safe. Happy 4th of July for all of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July. Hope it was peaceful. Hope you were in good vibes, alright? Hope no one disturbed your peace. But for some of, some of you guys that watch my video, someone did try to disturb your peace on 4th of July. Um, this person um, purposely um, reached out to you just to annoy you, just to irritate you, or somebody invited you somewhere and then and then somebody does something to trigger you while you're there, okay? So nothing new, okay? So I hope you guys did enjoy your 4th of July because there's a lot of people here that feel, they feel some type of way about the peace that you have, uh, the love that you have for yourself, the way you are... Um, taking back your power at this time and you're very unapologetic while you're doing it okay you know as you should so I got a message here that your ancestors are furious because there's a group of people and I also heard that you destroyed the whole coven whoever you are you destroyed a whole coven by yourself with your ancestors they tried everything in the book to do what they tried everything possible to slow you down to get you in a trap to put you in mental prison okay and these to slow down your money too to uh somehow affect your job your work get you fired or create some sort of instability in your love life or your uh connections with people um and your ancestors are furious because this coven that you have destroyed they attacked you but they also attacked your child or your children Okay, somebody watching, you have a child or, or, or children that are gifted. You have a child or children that are gifted, that uh, are chosen children. And if this is not children, it could be one specific child. But if you are chosen and you're gifted and you are dealing with this and you have children, then I feel like somebody's like middle child is very gifted. Somebody's middle child is gifted. That's confirmation for somebody watching. And for somebody else, all your children are gifted in different ways. If you have one child, that child is gifted too. So your ancestors are furious because this group, this coven, this evil karmic family members, they plotted on you and now they're targeting your child, okay? Somebody's child is being targeted. This could be somebody's son or daughter. But I'm picking up on a masculine energy, so it could be a son, a young son. Somebody's targeting someone's son. Okay, it's time for you to do some protection rituals for your son or your daughter, if it's a daughter. Because they can't touch you with their dark energy, so they're targeting your son or daughter or grandchild for somebody. And then um, I got a message that you are literally like the diamond in the rough. You are the diamond in the rough, and you are starting to shine so bright, and they tried to keep you invisible. They never wanted people to recognize your gift, to recognize you, and or to admire you, okay? Because they did throw a lot of dirt on your name, but the Most High God, He put you on a pedestal. He put you in the spotlight. God increased your gifts and your ancestors, and they pushed you to start something new. They pushed you to get into your purpose. And somebody here watching this video, you defeated a fallen angel. You defeated a fallen angel, devil worshiper, or devil worshippers. And that's what I'm talking about with this coven. Okay? Wow, your ancestors are furious and all hell broke loose in the spirit realm when they came for your child or your loved ones or your grandchildren because they are innocent and it was not, it was not approved. It was never approved in the spirit realm for these people to go ahead and try to take your children or try to attack your children or try to do something to affect your children, your child, or your grandchildren. Wow. Everything is backfiring. And then I heard dollhouse. So maybe somebody's daughter got a dollhouse. That's significant. Or maybe you had a dollhouse when you were a kid. And then I heard jack-in-the-box. Somebody's child has a jack-in-the-box. Or you did when you were a kid. Somebody could have gifted your child a dollhouse or a jack-in-the-box. But it could have had bad energy attached to it. So you might need to get rid of it. And that's specific for somebody. You're going to know if this is your message. Ever since they gave you that dollhouse to your child or that jack-in-the-box to your child, your child started experiencing nightmares, getting sick, things happening to your child, randomly your child seeing ghosts or something like that or having lucid dreams. 
Your child could have got a high fever. So this is confirmation for somebody. It's a side message. Not going to resonate with everyone. Okay, so you unlocked your Akashic records, whoever you are. And your ancestors, they're warriors. Your warrior ancestors, they're now involved in the spiritual battle. Trust me, you're not alone. Whoever you are, you're always surrounded by them. Okay, so yeah, your ancestors are having target practice with these people. Ancestors are now involved in the spirit realm, game over. Every time they get a reading on you, your ancestors are switching your timeline so they can't figure you out. Wow, you have some very powerful... So if you, if you suddenly are starting to lose track of time, or say for instance, you looked at the time and, and it was this time and all of a sudden it was like 20 minutes go by or something. It feels like 20 minutes, 30 minutes go by and then you look at the time and it's like hours later and you're like dumbfounded like how the heck did, did it go from this time to this time that quick or um maybe you fell asleep and you felt like you closed your eyes for like five minutes and then you woke up and it was like hours later and that's confirmation for somebody that you switching timelines your ancestors are protecting you and if you hear fireworks i apologize okay target practice every time they get a reading your ancestors are switching your timelines and they can't figure you out and now somebody's having an anxiety attack because they're becoming very unstable mentally because they're uh they've been uh targeting you or attacking you somehow getting readings done on you and every time they think they know what's going to happen in your life spirit switches things up for you so they don't know where to attack you at you know what i mean they don't know how to attack you because they can't get the right information even when they're pulling those cards or when they're trying to get readings done on you or when they're doing spell they don't know what to attack so you whoever you are very powerful magician very powerful high priestess very powerful healer by the way all right anxiety attack somebody could be having anxiety you could be feeling anxiety maybe you're picking up on someone's energy if you feel anxiety just clear out your energy meditate and take a spiritual bath Take some time out, you know, to go out in nature or relax yourself because you might be picking up on somebody else's energy that's having anxiety because this person is being exposed or they're going through something mentally because every time they try to do some work on you, it just affects them instead of you. Wow. So somebody here has literally been paying for spell work to attack themselves because it always bounces right off of you and hits them. Wow. Yeah, they're going crazy outside with fireworks and this is really... um like um it's almost like they're trying to disrupt your your messages but i'm gonna keep on going all right so there's a witch there's a karmic witch a dark high priestess in the coven and this karmic witch promised your ex that you would run back to them okay so there's a karmic witch here that was doing work for one of your exes because they were working in the coven and your ex couldn't defeat you because you walked away from your ex so basically they want your ex to somehow get back into your energy so they can finish the job, get the job done, or do what they were supposed to do. So since this ex can't get into your energy, no way, no how, this witch was was paid to do some sort of weird come-to-me spell or love spell to get you to go backwards to your ex. But it never worked. So, yeah, it didn't work. They're sick that you moved. Somebody's sick that you moved on. I heard Angel or Angela, Angelina, Angelique, Angie. And then I heard Amina, Amina, Selena, Lily or Lillian. I heard Dave, David, Joshua. They are having a hard time. They're having a hard time because they're experiencing some sort of supernatural events in their life, and it's been caught on camera. Wow. So something was caught on camera. Somebody caught a ghost on their camera, and now this person's spooked. But that's what they get for going to the graveyard and burying something there and conjuring up something dark to send it to you. And now they realize how protected you really are. Yeah, and somebody here decided to attack you because you were helping somebody. You gave somebody the truth or clarity in their life. You could be a reader. You could have gifts or you could just use your gifts and you gave somebody a message or you were helping them with some sort of clarity or information they needed. You gave them some sort of spiritual advice and they took your advice. So this person started taking back their power and somebody in this person's energy, this person's friend, this person's lover or this person's karmic family members or whoever they took their energy back from, this person started to attack you because they, you helped this person take back their power and now this person's feeling some type of way. 
So since you helped this person, they wanted to attack you, but they didn't know who they were coming for when they came for you. The seven signs, and I heard the seven signs, okay? So this is like the book of Revelations playing out right now in the world. So just know that people are shape-shifting into their true forms. People are shape-shifting into their true colors or to their true... All right, if, if people were embodying dark energy all their life, right? And all their life, they were toxic, they were negative, they overindulged, they committed crimes, or they were this dark, evil-spirited person, or even if they tampered with spell work all their life. These individuals now, it is, it, it is in the Bible, it's in the book of Revelations, their DNA is changing. Their DNA is changing. Their, their uh, demons are completely taking over their bodies. Okay, so now certain people are literally not human anymore because their, their demon pos completely has them possessed with, you know, possessed their body, completely possessed and took over their body and their soul. So there's people that are out there looking like zombies. There's people that are out there doing weird crimes. All right, they're in their demon because that's literally a demon possessing somebody's body right now because it's, it's, pro it's pro prophesied in the book of Revelation that people will start changing in the end times because God has already chosen his people that are going to be saved by this time. God has already chosen his selected people and the people that were not selected that have been, in, in, basically demons have been inhabiting their body for so long because they've been doing all this evil work. These people are not the people that you used to know. These people are actually shape-shifted into a whole damn entity. And so that's why they can pretend, that's why they can um, lie so well, or that's why they're very sneaky, and that's why they can, when they come around you, all they do is stare. They stare at you because they know who you are. They know you're a spiritual being of light. They also know that you're highly protected in the spirit realm. And so they can't get so close to you. All they can do is stare at you. If you realize that wherever you go, these people, these weird, uh, these weird, I'm going to call them drifters because they're like soulless beings. Like They're like, because I say that because their demon has completely taken over them. So when you see these people standing in a corner, standing um, in a random spot in a store, when you go to the gas station, they're just standing there, they're staring at you with a dead stare, a dead look in their eye, and it creeps you out. And you're like, why are they staring at me? Is that an Agent Smith? Yeah, that's one of the devil's agents, basically. Okay, but you guys know, you got to know that they won't get close to you because they know who you are. They're actually scared of you. They're just assigned to watch you, but that's why I call them the watchers, okay? Because the devil can access their vessel to spy on you, whoever you are. And this coven of these witches are actually using a black cat, okay? A black cat to spy on, on you guys somehow and actually project themselves into your energy as a black cat. For some of you guys, there's a black cat that's watching over you that's sent by your ancestors too. So don't get confused. It's not for everybody. Some of you guys, there's a witch or a coven that's using a black cat to astral project around your reality and watch you or they're using some sort of like stray dog, you always see the stray dog, or something like that. They could be using the crow or raven also. They can shapeshift and, into these animals and watch you guys because that's, that's how they do it, okay? But for somebody watching, you have animals that watch over you and protect you because you're connected to the earth. You were a shaman in your past life, and you were connected to the avatar. So, yeah, you, you got all the elements in your chart, and the animals, they know who you are, so the animals gravitate. So all the animals are attracted to you. Dogs like you, cats like you, birds like you, people like you. It's like, yeah, that's because they know who you are, and you're very protected by them as well. Okay, so, you, yeah, you were meant to be a humanitarian. You're a very powerful healer. You got telepathic gifts. You could be tapping into somebody else's energy or conversations, but be careful if you're tapping into somebody's conversation too much, they can literally tap into yours. So be careful when you're doing that. And if it happens too much, you got to figure out a way how to, how to stop it or how to turn it off at times. Because if you're tapping into what they're saying too much, they can tap into you and what you're saying. And this is how it works, guys. Okay, so it goes both ways. It's like if you pick up a telephone and call somebody, they're going to hear you talking just like you're going to hear them talking. Same thing goes for telepathy, messages back and forth. Okay, so you got the Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give you an offer, Aries. Somebody wants to come in with a beautiful offer towards you. They could, this could be a business offer collaboration. 
Oh, this could be a whole lawyer coming to bring you your money, what belongs to you, reaching out to you with this huge paycheck that belongs to you. For somebody, you're going to get an unexpected windfall. I'm telling you right now, this King of Pentacles actually been trying to find you. This King of Pentacles could be a lawyer. This King of Pentacles has has your money, and they're trying to give it to you. This could be a, a King of Pentacles lawyer, or this could be some sort of private investigator, or this could be like um, somebody that works for the Treasury Department or something like that. But they're trying to find you, and they actually found you now. They're about to like literally deliver your, your money to you or reach out to you about this money. Okay, this is money that was scammed, that you were scammed. All right, maybe you weren't aware you were scammed. Maybe they were taking money out of your bank account little by little and little... Somebody here, you've been scammed, but you don't even know it, okay? Because these scammers that were scamming you, they were scamming you with like $5 at a time, $3 at a time, $1 at a time. So it, it would be like untraceable. You wouldn't actually notice that a little bit of money coming out. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, okay? But that's for somebody that's watching. But for somebody else, you know that these people try to steal from you or scam you or somebody gave, like, made a, 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 a faulty business deal with you and tried to take all your money and leave you out of the business. I don't know. Something was done to you. This could also be inheritance too, guys, because a lot of you guys have stolen inheritances. So the temperance is a Sagittarius energy, all right? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius energy that sees you as an earth angel, the Sagittarius energy. They got a lot of love for you or they're coming towards you. All right, because they feel like they are like divinely guided to bless you or to uh, work together with you or to partner with you. There's a, there's a, a Sagittarius here. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. And either one of these, these signs, they're coming in. This person one wants to come in and they want to gift you with something or they want to give you an offer. It could be a business offer. All right, it could be a love offer because it could be love or business. All right. So somebody here is coming clean about the whatever they were, secrets that they were keeping from you. There's somebody that's been that's been keeping a secret, holding a secret regarding your family members, and this person knows the secrets about your real mom or your real dad or what your family did if they really did something to take your inheritance or like switch your birth certificate or change your last name. I don't know something weird like whatever this person these this person knows they're gonna come to to tell you about it. Aries, this person's having nightmares or they're having. This person's having flashbacks. This person's have, had an out-of-body experience. This person's experienced some sort of supernatural events in their life. This person's a little spooked, but they want to come towards you and do and, and like clear. They want to clear their energy by telling you everything, okay? And then they're going to ask you to help them spiritually to protect themselves because this person feels like they're being targeted or they're being attacked, okay? Because this person's been wanting to tell you this for a while, but they were afraid of this group of people in your family that were connected with this coven, they were afraid that these people were going to come for them. And this could be a younger person in your family, okay? And there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's under judgment here, all right? This could be somebody that, like, worked against you behind the scenes. And you could have actually, you know what, you could have thought this person had your back, but somebody manipulated this air sign to work against you. And now this air sign is, like, hell-bent on destroying you because... They're, they're just so envious of your gifts and how your gifts work. This person really tries to compare themselves to you, Aries, but they don't. They can't compete where they don't compare. And now this person's that, like going down a downward spiral. This person could be drinking or doing some sort of substance or just tampering with spell work so much that they're like losing their mind and they're like seeing things and hearing things and hearing voices. And this person could be talking to themselves. Just really, this person's really like paranoid. Wow. Yeah, you could be saving your money, saving for something, all right? Saving your money. Somebody doesn't want you to have a savings. Wow. I heard Erica, Erin, Evelyn, Ivy or Evie. Oh, it's definitely Poison Ivy is up in here. I, I definitely picked up on Poison Ivy's energy up in here. But this Poison Ivy that's a part of this coven is taking a major loss. Okay, because this per poison ivy, this poison ivy is, in, is going down with this karmic Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. So there's a female and a masculine that are going down. They've been working together. Yeah, now they know they messed everything up. They left you down and out. They left you, like, they made you feel like this, Aries. These people made you feel like this. Like you had nobody. Like you didn't know where to turn. Like, your whole life was alive. Like, they never loved you. Like, they always betrayed you. Like, this is how they left you feeling, you know? They took advantage of your love, 
and they dumped out your cups of love and they laughed at you. And now that you're uh, actually loving yourself and moving forward and achieving great things in your life, these people have the nerve to try to come back towards you after they dumped out all your cups of love and left you standing there, stranded by yourself, isolated. They're crazy. Somebody, they're having issues. They're having tower moments. They're under judgment. They're in the nine of wands, ten of wands. And you defeated this, I told you, you defeated this double energy. You defeated this whole coven by yourself and your ancestors. And now this person's in the Ten of Swords. Somebody got a bad health diagnosis. Somebody could have found out they had HIV. Because they were literally sleeping around with the dirtiest karmics and overindulging, getting uh, uh, on drugs and substances. Somebody could have been even shooting up and they got HIV. So somebody here, they definitely got some sort of bad, if it's not HIV, then they got some sort of terminal illness or some bad health diagnosis, and also they got issues with the law too. Wow. And well, well the outcome of this reading is that you get the Ten of Pentacles. You get the long-term wealth and success and stability. You get a, a, a strong connection with somebody. You get into a relationship with your soulmate, and your life moves forward, and everything's looking good in your life because the angels are behind this. The angels are protecting your foundation and your blessings. And somebody was really trying to make you lose your job, but if you lost your job, it's because God wanted you to step into your power and start your own business. Whoever you are, you're a very talented person. Put yourself out there believing that gift that you have, okay? That talent, okay? And somebody else but, uh, behind the scenes could have lost their job, but they're still pretending like they got it like that on social media because they don't want you to know they lost their job. They don't want you to know they're losing income. They don't want you to know they're stressed out. Yeah, this person, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, all right? Four of Cups. They feel isolated now and rejected, but when you needed this person, they left you out in the cold and they didn't give you no love. They gave you empty cups. All right, and here's the lion. This is you, the fearless lion. There's a Leo here. Could be uh, a Leo that's like head over here. There's a Leo for somebody watching, male or female. You could be a male or female. There's a Leo that's like head over heels for you. But this Leo has been dealing with too many karmic people and their energy. But this Leo definitely having an awakening, definitely cutting off these karmics. Coming towards you with a page of cups. There could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's coming in. A Leo. There could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio here. All right. The world card. Yep. This is your outcome. Yep. You're reflecting. You're the Empress. Male or female. Emperor. Empress energy. All right. They're in the Eight of Swords. Mental prison. That's where they wanted you. All right. This karmic Virgo is under judgment. Wow. This Virgo partnered up with some young heir. Okay. This Virgo teamed up with a Sagittarius or a Aries Leo Sag. Or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And um, this Virgo teamed up with a, a younger water sign. Or a water sign here. They teamed up. And now they're both under judgment. Now they both can't can get in your energy. Wow. So this is your reading, my loves. I hope this helped. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting the channel. I love you guys, all my supporters. Thank you for being here and being a part of the Soul Tribe family. We're growing. And I'm so proud of the channel. And we're growing slow and steady. All right, the devil has been trying to shut me down, but God is in charge of this channel. And I love all you guys for all your love and support. If you're interested in a personal reading, my email is down below. If you're interested in my products, I'm working on a website. So as soon as I get the website finished, I'm working on it. I'm doing all the minor details to the website. As soon as the website is ready, guys, I'm going to let you guys know. I'll have Crown Chakra available. I'll be Gone Spiritual Bath available. And I'll have Protection Bracelets available on the website. So as soon as it's ready, I'll put it on. Um, I'll post it on my timeline, and I'll also let you guys know on a video. I'll make an announcement, okay? But if you're interested now, you can just email me, and, you know, we can go from there, and you can still receive your product. I love you guys. Till the next time, namaste.